there's a lot of people who for years, for generations, have made a living going to work, working every day in the mining industry. It, you know, it's a great industry. It, it's supported me and my family my entire life. But now that that industry is no longer available, we're having to, we're having a little bit of motivation by starvation. <laughs> you know, you, when, when it's not there anymore, you've got to go find something else to do. This is Pikeville, Kentucky. For decades, it was the thriving heart of the Appalachian coal industry. But since the early 80s, it's been in steady decline, leaving its residents with fewer and fewer opportunities for good jobs. With this hungry workforce and low cost of living, one company's asking, why can't tech thrive here? BitSource is a software development company. We have around 13 employees. Several of those employees, 10 of them, were former uh, coal industry professionals. Uh, they had been laid off from the coal mines, and uh, now uh, they are actually programmers. So we taught them how to program and develop websites, apps, games, interactions, those type of things. You know, now we have a business. We started with HTML, of course, and then we learned C uh, CSS. Went from there to JavaScript, uh, rolled in some jQuery, learned, learned jQuery, uh, PHP, uh, C Sharp, um, We've, we're doing a little bit of SQL stuff now. Cole's decline has been decades in the making, caused by everything from environmental regulations to replacement by cheap natural gas. As American coal consumption has decreased, the unemployment rate in Kentucky and neighboring West Virginia has hovered above the national average. Not everyone's convinced that coding has a place in the region's economic recovery. You're not going to teach the normal coal miner to code. I don't know how to break this to you. That, no. But according to Garland, the skills that once made Kentucky coal miners so successful carry over naturally to coding. Being able to begin at the beginning of a problem and find a solution all the way to the end. Uh, because a lot of times in maintenance, like with coding, you're, you're kind of going into the unknown. You know, it's broke, we have an idea of what might be wrong with it, but you have to reason down the path of, okay, well, these are the things that could or could not be happening here. Uh, these are the possible solutions. Sort through, find the best solution, all of those things kind of correlate with what we do here. In the fall of 2014, we began talks about, okay, could we do this? And what would we do if we could teach a coal miner to code? Of course you can. I mean, it's, they're no different than anybody else learning anything. Uh, they're uh, just uh, engineers that get dirty. But Hall's company can only do so much in a region devastated by economic downturn. He says BitSource received 900 applications from aspiring coders. It hired 10. As the coal industry falls, Kentucky looks toward a 21st century resource, broadband. The state's rural broadband coverage is among the worst in the nation, but improvements in recent years have Hall optimistic that tech could thrive in the region. You know, we have goals, we have a vision that we want to be able to cast for uh, the future and hiring and expanding. Uh, we want uh, an ecosystem here, entrepreneurs, maker spaces, those kind of things. We're building this. Uh, for the future and something we can build upon and that utilizes the vast resources that we have here, which are, has not always been the most precious resources, coal. It's been the people that mined it. You know, it, it astounds me that people are surprised when the answer to the question of can a coal miner code is yes. Not just yes, but overwhelmingly yes. You know, that stings a little, of, of course. But at the end of the day, there is absolutely nothing that if we need to, we can't accomplish. Uh, because the work ethic's there, the intelligence is there, um, all we need is opportunity. Jobs. Jobs are a big challenge around here. We do got jobs like the coal mines and some factories all over that do offer decent insurance and health insurance, but. It definitely is hard to find work here. My fiance works